Well, Alright guys, I am David, your Android Junkie or AndroidSpin.com, and this has been the Mandroid Show. Hey David, we need you inside for a sec. Yeah, thanks a lot, man. Why don't you have a seat over there, all right? We just wanted to let you know you're uh, doing a great job and just making sure that everything's all right. Well, you know, I'm hanging in there, you know. Just, um... Uh, busting my ass for the company and just, you know, just doing my part. You know, sometimes you gotta stop goofing off and just, uh, see what you're really made of. And, uh, I think I'm, uh, I'm doing that. <laughs> Indeed you are. Is, uh, is this job pretty, uh, satisfying for you? Well, you know, I was, uh, a little more satisfied doing my, uh, my old, uh, YouTube show. The, uh, the Mandroid show. But, uh, you know, like I said, sometimes you just gotta, you know, life has to come up and punch you right in the butt <laughs> and say, hey, <laughs> it's time to uh, see what you're made of. Gotta make some money, you know? Can't just goof off and make these stupid YouTube videos. <laughs> All right, well, we just wanted to let you know that you, uh, we're Thank gonna you. give you a work phone. Oh, sweet. I was wondering when I was gonna get myself, you know, a, a nice work phone because I've been using my phone and, you know, I, as much as I, you know, don't mind, I don't really mind using my phone, but, you know, uh, it's always nice to have a work phone, so that's that's good to know. All right, just uh, let you know we're gonna give you an iPhone 4S, and uh, wait, that wait, should wait, do wait, you wait, pretty wait. well. Sorry. Can you can you say that part again? Uh, that should do you pretty well. No, no, no. The part before that. An iPhone 4S. <laughs> wait, wait. We're, we're gonna be getting an iPhone. Did I hear that right? Uh, yeah. Where do you get off? Excuse me? Honestly. Where do you get off? A work... iPhone as a work phone? Are you serious? <laughs> you know what? Sorry. You know what? I was... I was with you till you said that, and you know what? I think I'm gonna go back to doing my show, so, uh, you know, you can, uh, take this job and, uh, you know, do that with it, and uh, yeah, you can also, you can take this, and you can take this as well, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back to doing the Mandroid show. Uh. <laughs> welcome, 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 my Android friends. Yes, the prodigal son has returned. I am David. You're Android Junkie over at AndroidSpin.com. And finally, The Mandroid Show returns. It's The Mandroid Show. It's The Mandroid Show. It's The Mandroid Show. Okay, I got a little too excited. Yeah. You know me, my little pre-show ritual is just downing some of that good old caffeinated drink. It was a monster this time. But yes, ah, I have returned. I know I'm in three months. Three months since the last Mandroid show, something like that, I think. Yes, unfortunately, life came up and slapped me in the face, and I needed to do some actual worky worky work, and uh, that was not fun at all. But it's okay, that is over with. I am back to bring you Android news. News that you crave! News I crave to give you! Something like that. But anyways, I'm jibber-jabbing as usual, so let's talk some Android. Where do I even freaking start? It's been like three months, should I just go over everything that I missed? You better believe I'm going to. Really, really fast. iPhone 5. people that paid for that? Well, you do get a half an inch more. Something like that. Oh, it's marvelous. It's got iOS 6. It's 5, but 6. Blah, blah. I don't get that. Yes, the iPhone 5 just full of innovation and just technically savvy. Oh my god. 
Have you seen the panoramic camera? Yeah, I saw it last year when they displayed it on ICS in the Galaxy Nexus. It's finally got LTE support. Ha! <laughs> what does LTE stand for? Better late than ever? <laughs> You know what? I was actually gonna make an iPhone 5 parody commercial and a lot of these jokes are what was gonna be in there, but I suck. I will give them one thing though. The most innovative thing about the iPhone 5 is that lightning connector, the little charger thing that you have to put and you can put it any side you want because I don't know how many times like in the dark trying to plug in my phone in the charger and you're like, eh, eh, it's going, eh, you want you, eh. You know, it's always a big pain in the ass, but I mean, they screwed you. They screwed you because now all your old chargers won't work with the iPhone 5. All your little docks and everything else like that, you gotta buy a little adapter. None of those work, it's, come on, people. It's funny, that Samsung Galaxy S3 commercial where they make fun of the people waiting in line, you know, the deja, 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 deja vu. That is so, like, pretty, that is pretty freaking accurate because it's like, you're getting the same phone. We will never understand it over here in the Android community. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna have like a three and a half hour long video about everything that's happened in the past three months, but we don't wanna do that. As much as you would love to hear me just go on and on, I would not want to edit at, at all. So let's just talk about this week, and of course, it's been a very exciting week because on Monday, the Google event was supposed to happen, but of course, Hurricane Sandy came into New York City or the whole East Coast. I mean, that was a crazy storm, I hope. For those of you that live in that area, hopefully everything is, uh, you know, hopefully your houses didn't get flooded or damaged or anything like that. I know they were having power problems and all that fun stuff. Also. So I hope all you guys, if you guys are watching, I hope everything's cool. I hope you made it out safe and or, you know, just live through it pretty much. I mean, you're awesome. If you have, good job. But even though the event was canceled, it did not stop Google from showing us the new Nexus line. Oh my God. Ah, uh, uh, especially the two new ones. They're so nexy. <laughs> you see what I did there? Yeah, see what I did there? Nexus, sexy, nexy. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I come up with gold. Yes, folks, the Nexus 4 is finally here. Google was not kidding about having different OEMs come up with Nexus products. Everybody thought, oh, is everybody going to have a turn at a Nexus phone? Not necessarily. We had Asus do the Nexus 7, with LG doing the Nexus 4, and then, of course, Samsung doing the Nexus 10. I say doing, I don't know why they did. Past tense! But yes, the LG Nexus 4 is a 4.7 inch bad boy with a 1.5 quad core processor. It's rocking an 8 megapixel camera, which was kind of weird because everybody was calling it the Optimus Nexus, and the Optimus G that's on like Sprint has a 13 megapixel camera. Anyways, there's an 8 gigabyte and 16 gigabyte version, 2 gigs of RAM, and a 2100 milliamp battery. It sounds fantastic. It's got, it's perfect. It's got no LTE support. Uh oh. A lot of, now a lot of people have been talking about the LTE support and how it's not in the Nexus 4. A lot of people are like, well, that sucks. But then a lot of people are like, well, that's good. Basically, if you look at both sides of it. A lot of people might see that as a deal breaker. Like, what? I, <laughs> I'm on Verizon or AT and T. I want the LTE. Hello, hello, LG. Hello, Google. Then you got the other side, and you're like, well. I don't really live in an LTE area, so if I have the LTE always constantly on and the, the phone constantly looking for the LTE, it's going to drain the crap out of my battery. Andy Rubin actually chimed in on that and he said that is pretty much the reason why they did not put LTE support in the Nexus 4. Because basically if it had LTE support, they would have to have two antennas, one for LTE and one for GSM. And if you live in a spotty LTE area, your phone is constantly going to be looking for that LTE and it's going to drain the crap out of your battery, which is what the Galaxy Nexus was having problems with. I guess a lot of people were complaining about that, even though, like, you know, if you rooted it, custom ROMs, blah, 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 you could turn off your LTE. So yes, I could see that being like, oh, that's fine. That's perfectly fine with me. People saying that. Um, GSM. You see, I wrote the article about this and I basically uh, said that, you know, if I'm going to get another phone, a new phone, I'm going to wait for a phone that's LTE. And I'm on T-Mobile and there's no LTE yet. There's supposed to be LTE at the end of next year. I guess T-Mobile is going to launch their LTE and I actually have first-hand experience that in Southern California it's gonna be huge. This is where I've been the last couple months folks. I was working for a company that was upgrading these T-Mobile cell sites with LTE radios. So it really just depends on your market. Yeah if you live in like you know freaking Mayberry 
and you have spotty coverage, yeah, you're not going to want to have the LTE support because it's not going to reach you. But if you live in a very huge market like Southern California, Vegas, I know for a fact the LTE for T-Mobile is going to be everywhere next year. As soon as they launch it, it's going to be everywhere. So I I don't have an upgrade due for over a year. I'm still happy with my one S. <laughs> but as soon as T-Mobile you know hits that LTE switch, they they'll have phones ready, and hopefully they'll have an HTC Nexus. Huh? Huh, HTC? I freaking read earlier about a Facebook phone and you guys should really stop joking about that because nobody wants a Facebook phone. Come on! So I can really see both sides and I'm kind of like in the middle with it. But anyways, it's a super sexy phone and if you guys haven't checked it out yet, you know, there's unboxings, there's all that fun stuff out there. Uh, hopefully, maybe we can get snack one. That'd be pretty sweet. Uh, I know somebody who lives not too far from here that works on another site that's getting one and maybe let me play with it. Huh, buddy? You know who you are. Anyways, on to it. We got the Nexus 7. Obviously, that's nothing different, but they have a 3G version that will be coming out. So yeah, you can get a Nexus 7 and have a 3G plan on it and you can take it wherever you want and look really weird holding a big tablet all the time. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, it's, it is weird. I don't know, I, I wasn't too excited about that, but the Nexus 10? Holy crap! This is a sexy piece. Now, if you've been waiting for a tablet, this is the tablet to get, I think. And I've been, you know, going back and forth about, mm, maybe I'll get the, the Note 10.1 or the Seuss Transformer. Uh. But after seeing this, oh man. It's the thinnest tablet out there. It's got a super freaking powerful processor, the Xynos or the Xnos, whatever the hell they call it. Oh, oh just sexy. Look at that screen. That screen is. Really? This is just the tablet to get. And then of course, Android 4.2. Now a lot of people were like, is it going to be Key and Pie? Is it just going to be Jelly Bean again? It was going back and forth. We kept on saying, hey, maybe it's Key Lime Pie. Key Lime Pie. I've never had Key Lime Pie and I don't ever want it because it sounds disgusting. Yeah, so it's not Key Lime Pie. It's just an enhanced Jelly Bean, but it comes with some awesome freaking features. Anyways, what comes with Android 4.2? Well, we got multi-user accounts on tablets. That's pretty awesome where you could just be like, you know, you got mama, you got papa, you got baby bear, you know, you just up, oh, just get on. It's just like getting on your desktop when you can log in. That's pretty awesome. Keyboard, the keyboard, gesture typing. It's got kind of a swipe feel to it. It's kind of, it's really sexy looking because when you're doing it, it just brings up the word like right above your finger. Pretty awesome stuff. Enhanced notifications. Oof. Notifications just keep getting better, you know. Um, if you, there's a video out there by The Verge. I suggest everybody see it. I'll put it down in the links below. It's a 15 minute video where they just go inside Mountain View and they just talk to the head cheeses and man, they just go through, they go through, first of all, the whole Nexus line and they go over Android 4.2, but they show like the notification where you can just flip it over for shortcuts. I mean, basically, <laughs> Google, Android, you know, they're, they're just ripping off CM10, AOKP. I mean, they, they're not really ripping off. It's just, it's like, hey, that's a good idea. We should probably put that in the next one. Am I talking really, really fast? I feel like I am. Lock screen widgets, holy crap. That excited me greatly, because you know I'm a big widget head. Why did I do this? I don't know. This is my body, I don't like it. You could just swipe to the left or the right and have widgets, and it's just, that's, it's about time. And there's some other little added stuff, but I think one of the biggest, newest, Features that's just awesome and just wow, we we wow, like no one saw coming. Photosphere, holy crap. Just when you thought they couldn't improve the camera anymore because you know, we already had panoramic, Apple. <laughs> All of a sudden, Google just goes, oh yeah, how about taking pictures that are 360 degrees? What? Ah, uh, wow. It's basically shooting and like you, you're just centering it and there's like a little ball that shows up and it just click, 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 Freaking wow. I mean, I don't think anybody really saw that coming, but yeah, Photosphere. Probably the most talked about feature of Android 4.2. Anyways, guys, with that, after seeing Android 4.2 coming out, you knew that the, you know, some of the apps and the features were going to start getting linked out, you know, developers going to start pulling, you know, it's like a pinata. And Google said, there you go. Have fun. So obviously we got everything that you need to turn your phone into kind of a Nexus 4. First starting with the wallpapers. The system dump too is also ready for download if you guys want to take a stab at that. We also got the keyboard too. Everybody loves to try out the new keyboard so you could try the whole swipe thing that they have, the gesturing, whatever the heck. It's pretty nice. I'm not really a big fan of it. I tried swipe, you know, one time and I'm just not, I have fast thumbs, okay? I'm not doing this, rubbing my phone. I'm just, you know, I'm one of these kind of guys. 
So yeah, but it's still pretty sexy, check it out. Photosphere, <laughs> you can get Photosphere if you're, you know, obviously you have to have like, you know, a pretty decent phone. Like, don't try to put it on your Nexus One. Anybody still have one? You can uh, download that. I downloaded it on my phone and it works great. It's pretty cool. It's a little, eh, you know, it has its moments where it doesn't really work too well. I'm like, wait, yeah, what? But yeah, anyways, all those will be down on links below in the balls area. Did you miss the balls area? It's still down there. Balls area. Videos, everything that you that we covered for Android 4.2 on Monday and the following days, you know, it's all down there for you. Well, anyways, guys, that's all I had to talk about today on this returning show. I appreciate all the positive responses I got for the promo video. And I was like, I've literally been here the entire time. I was like, when I've been watching it, because I tend to watch my stuff over and over again because I'm a freak, um, I was like, wow, that kind of came off as kind of, you know, a-hole-ish. <laughs> I'm like, no, nah, it was just a joke, because technically I have been here the whole time, I just never had, I didn't really have time. But I'm back, guys, and I plan on still doing two videos a week. I'm going to try to do more videos with the app of the week, tweak of the week, and, you know, a lot of stuff. I'm trying to do a lot of videos, so, uh, and uh, I haven't forgotten about Hot Nerdy Girl of the Week. Not going to do it this week. I thought about, well, I might as well just do the Nexus line. Hey, Hot Nerd. Nah, yeah, I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to get back to doing it next week. I'll do Hot Nerdy Girl of the Week, so if you have a Hot Nerdy Girl suggestion, leave it down below in the balls area, or leave it on my Twitter, G+. Any of those, those are down below too. Follow me on the social media networks, you know, all that fun stuff. Follow me into the Android community and I'll guide you with my stupidity. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you tuning in. I missed you, missed you so much. I know you missed me. Some of you guys were hitting me up when I was, you know, absent. I appreciate all the tweets and uh, the G Plus um, posts and all that stuff asking, where are you at? I am alive, I am here, and I am hopefully better than I was. Maybe. Anyways, guys, I am David, your Android junkie over at AndroidSpin.com, and this has been The Mandroid Show. Oh, how I missed The Mandroid Man Cave. Maybe now that it's different, I can actually sit on that couch? Sure, why not? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, that was not a good idea. Um, that, that was an actual sound effect, too. That wasn't added. That was my head hitting that wall. So, uh, I'm going to go drink some... Um, warm milk and uh, pass out. Okay, see you later.